and welcome to my vlog. My name is Erin and this is my top 8 best tropes in paranormal romance. Everything on this list is just my personal opinion, so if you don't agree with that, that's totally cool. It's all subjective and just for fun. Number 1. Forbidden Romance. This usually gets cranked up a notch in paranormals because you have the potential for millennium-long feuds, conflict between mythical species, and all sorts of magical shenanigans. Consider it kind of like Romeo and Juliet, except everyone's an adult, they're probably immortal, and they get a happy ending because it's romance. Number two, the power couple, literally. There is a plethora of high-powered badass ladies in paranormal romance, and I love when they are at least equal to, if not more powerful than their partners. There's usually some kind of battle to be fought, and these two will tag team like pros to take out the big bad. Magic tends to add another level of obstacles to be surpassed, and I love seeing a well-matched powerful pair overcome these barriers against all odds. Number three, redemption arcs. This genre is filled with creatures that are typically the bad guys. Vampires, demons, fallen angels, etc. If you have a delicate hand with a redemption arc and you don't start off with these characters being straight up shitbags, then I am here for it. I am ready for them to be redeemed. Not everyone deserves a redemption arc, but they are fun to read when they're warranted. Number four, reincarnation. I love a good story that spans lifetimes. Sometimes it's an immortal that has fallen in love with a mortal and they reincarnate over lifetimes and just fall in love with them over and over again. Or it's two mortals finding one another each time that they're reborn. That kind of dedication is McCatnip. Number five, the rabbit hole. Tossing a normal character into the world of the paranormal to see how they react is always super fun. Some freak out, some cry, some are super jazzed about this revelation. I'm really not sure where I would fall on this spectrum if like a vampire or something showed up and was like, hey, it's all real. Seeing how they react to finding out that all the magical things are real is a super good way for us to get to know your character and their core values. Number six, the puppet master. This character is usually a seer or somehow has special knowledge of the future. I only like this trope when this character is benevolent and it's even better when they're funny. They see the main cast freaking out over this or that and they just sit back and watch the chaos. Sometimes they're helpful, but they don't like to make it too easy for everyone because where's the fun in that? Number seven, a new look at old stories. Some paranormal creatures have been written about to death, but there are gems within this subgenre that bring new life to their stories. They add fresh elements, create twists, and let you enjoy them in a whole new way. Number eight, Beauty and the Beast. Paranormal romance subgenre lends itself really well to the Beauty and the Beast story. I'm an absolute sucker for these retellings. Magic, curses, and supernatural beings are just par for the course here, and I love it. I tried to think of more, but all I could come up with was eight that were exclusive to paranormal romance, so I apologize for that. I do really enjoy the subgenre, but a lot of the tropes that I love are more applicable to romance in general. So that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know your favorite paranormal romance tropes in the comments below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to be notified as soon as I upload, then ring that bell. All my social media links will be in the description below. Both of my books, Olympian Confessions, Hades and Persephone, and Olympian Confessions, Hera, are available now in ebook and paperback. If you'd like your manuscript critiqued by me, you can check out my new critique service. Links to all of those will be on my website below. If you've enjoyed my content, consider being part of my Patreon family. I'll see you all next week with another video. Bye! Thank you.